Hello and welcome to the first season three episode of Steam Team Quizzes. Today's episode has graciously been written for us by everyone's favourite friend and greatest guy in the world, Thomas Fan. What, I, what are you on about? It, it's, it's in the script, see? Here, look. Well, that's the last time I let Thomas Fan write one of these. I hope these questions are up to my high standards, you know? No fear of that. What? I mean, the script isn't fit for anything. Yeah, it could be worse, though. At least I didn't let you write it. Can we get on? Yes, you should know by now the rules, and of course you should also know that Calico here has not seen any of the answers or questions, and that they have been held by me in a sealed envelope. So let's start with episode one, A Scarf for Percy. Question one. How many men are stood around the fire barrel? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five? I do think that it was four. All warming their hams around the nice fire barrel. Their hams? Their hams, yes. They had hams. Didn't you not see them? No, I didn't. I, mi- I missed that. But yes, that's the correct answer. There was four of them. They, I, I don't know whether they were warming hams or not. But... <laughs> Question two. What is not one of the warm things Thomas and Percy suggest they should talk about? A. Sunshine, B. Oil lamps, C. Fire lighters, or D. Steam? Um, oil lamps. It was oil lamps, or it wasn't oil lamps, is the case. Yes, it wasn't it oil lamps, no. <laughs> and I do believe that uh, Thomas said fire lighters very sarcastically. Fire lighters. Question three. Which item in the following list cannot be seen in the Fat Controller's house? A, a knife, B, a table, C, a lamp, or D, a portrait of a steam engine? I'm going to say knife, because it's the only one I don't recall. Not that I recall. Well, Hmm. apparently, a knife was seen. The answer is, a portrait of a steam engine. Which is unusual, because he usually does have a portrait on his wall. He did in the last season. He did. Maybe he took it down. Maybe. Maybe his wife didn't like it. Well, we know who wears the trousers <coughs> in that relationship. Yes. Question four. In the brief shot where Percy passes the airfield, what colour is the plane? A, yellow, B, red, C, blue, or D, white? It was a yellow. Mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. Question five. Who does Percy meet on his way to, to the yard? A, Edward, B, Gordon, C, Thomas, or D, James? I do think it is the um, splendid red engine, James. It was James. So we know now he hasn't scored a perfect 25 out of 25. But I must go for the 24 out of 25. But yes, that's the thing to aim for. It is. Episode 2, Percy's Promise. Which three locations are mentioned by the narrator in the opening? A, the mountains, the valleys and the seaside. B. Tidmouth, Wellsworth, and Vickers Town. C. The engine shed, the wash down, and the quarry. Or D. Swindon, Nottingham, in London. Um. Oh, was it? It was the uh, seaside, the mountains, and the valleys. It was not necessarily in that order, but that's correct. Yes. Answer, nonetheless, yes. Well done. Question two: Who is the first character to speak? A. Thomas. B. Annie. C. Percy. Or D. The Fat Controller. Um, it's Percy, and he speaks to Thomas first. He does, but Percy has the first word. Question three. What location is first to be seen? A, the sheds, B, the watermill, C, Tidmouth Holt, or D, the viaduct? Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Is, um, Tidmouth Holt, mm-hmm. is that the same place as Tidmouth Sheds are? Well, I should imagine it's all in Tidmouth somewhere. Why is it called Tidmouth Holt? Because that's the Holt, that's the station. It's oh. one of the stations. It's the Holt, oh, so it means they stop there? Yeah, it means they stop there. Ah, uh, right. Thank you for sh- shedding some light on the subject. Yeah. But no, the first place to be seen is the water mill. Yeah, and I bluff my way through that question, you give me, because I have no idea, really. Uh, just, it's just by the name I'm gathering, it's in Tidmouth, and Holt means a stop, so... Huh. Yeah, well. well done for putting two and two together and coming up with eight. Question four. What did the guard say when he was asked for some of the brake van's floorboards? A. I only waxed the floor this morning. B. I only mopped the floor this morning. C. I only replaced the floor this morning. Or D. I only swept the floor this morning. (laughs) Um. (coughs) 
Replace the floor would have been uh, quite funny. Very funny. <laughs> Going a little bit of carpentry work. <laughs> um, but no, it was, he only swept the floor this morning. He did, he did. Question five. What did the fat controller say Harold called Percy? A, wizard. B, bang on. C, smashing. <laughs> or D, a green caterpillar with red stripes. Bang on. It's, it's not just an old English expression. It know? is, that, it is. It's brilliant. No, he did call him Wizard, and then which the fat controller said, he's better at you than most things, but not being a submarine. And he said, I don't know what you get on up to. Yeah, something along quite, those lines. Quite, quite uh, bemused by the whole kind yeah. of con- concept. I can imagine Harold saying bang on, it's his sort of... <laughs> bang language, on, wizard! Yes. Yes. Indeed. Episode 3, Time for Trouble. Question 1. In the close-up of the clock, what time does it say? A, just past 12, B, 3.15 exactly, C, almost 10.30, or D, nearly 9.35? Um, I believe it is nearly 9.35. I believe it is. Correct. Question two. Which character does not appear in this episode? A, Edward, B, Thomas, C, Henry, or D, Percy? Ah, that would be Henry. It was Henry. Question three. Why can't Toby travel long distances? A. He can't carry enough coal. B. He has small water tanks. C. He has a small firebox. Or D. His driver is overly cautious. He has small water tanks. He does indeed. Question four. Why didn't the signalman know about Toby? A. He had one too many drinks. B. He was hard of hearing. C. He couldn't speak English. Or D. He was new. He could speak not English. It is because the signalman is new. He is. Couldn't understand English either, I don't expect, because it's no fun being an illegal alien. I swear to God, if that goes in the final edit, I'll go (laughs) kick through living. (laughs) Just flat, I'm going to leave that in. Question five. What does James say when he comes up behind Toby? A. Come on! B. Get a move on! C. Get on you! Or D. Move it! Um, He says, get on you. He does indeed. That's quite correct. Episode four now, and you didn't like this one very much for some reason, did you? Gordon and the Famous Visitor. There wasn't much action in there, was there? No, there wasn't. Question one. What is the name of the visiting engine? A. City of London B. City of Tours C. City of Truro or D. City of Troy um, Was it, uh, uh, it City of Truro? I'll accept. It's City of Truro, but yes, it's the same thing. Question two. Besides Gordon, who is not seen at the sheds with City of Truro in the opening? A. Duck B. Henry C. T- Donald or D. Diesel What was it? Other than Gordon. Yeah, besides Gordon. It was Henry. Henry wasn't there. It's weird, isn't it? Hmm. Diesel, who was removed from Sodor in the last series, is present there. Yeah. He shouldn't be. Yeah, but Henry isn't. Yeah. How weird. Question three. Why is the visiting engine famous? A, he went 100 mile an hour. B, he went 150 miles per hour. C, he went 200 miles per hour. Or D... He was the first flying steam engine. He went over a hundred miles an hour. He did indeed. How fast is that? Well, I'm not very by today's standards. Question four. Why does Gordon say not to trust domeless engines? A. They aren't responsible. B. They aren't responsive. C. They aren't reasonable. Or D. They aren't respectable. They are not respectable. They're not indeed terrible Terrible people. Domeless engines. I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, I don't know. Question five. What did Gordon think the wind wanted to do to him? A. Push him off the bridge. B. Make him late. C. Whip his dome off. Or D. Burst his safety valve. He thought that it wanted to push him off the bridge. They d- it did. It, that's what he wanted to do, I'm sure of it. You're correct. Episode five now, and the last episode in today's quiz, Donald's Duck. Question one. Where was the Fat Controller building a new station? 
A. The shed. B. The port. C. The windmill. Or D. The quarry. Yeah, it's it's the new station. It's the old station at the port. It is. I think it's turned into sheds by Series 5, though. Question 2. Whose sandwiches did the duckling eat? A. The drivers. B. The signalmen. C. The firemen. Or D. The station masters. I believe she shared... She shared the fireman's sandwiches. Yes, well, if there's any fault in the writing, take it up with Thomas Fan. Question 3. At which station did the duckling hop off? A. Knapford Holt. B. Wellsworth Holt. C. Tidmouth Holt. Or D. Owlsbridge Holt. Uh, it is Tidmouth Holt. It is Tidmouth Holt, indeed. A very fine-looking station it is, too. What did Donald's driver and fireman put under Duck's bunker? A. A nest box with an egg in it. B. A duckling. C. Eggs and bacon. Or D. A Cadbury's cream egg. It was a uh, egg in a nest box. It was. But can we just move on and say how how nice Cadbury cream eggs are? They stopped doing them now, haven't they, in Talista? No, I don't like them. No, I don't. I don't like them. <laughs> I did. Question five. What does the station master call the duckling? A. Delia. B. Debbie. C. Daisy. Or D. Dilly. Um, Delia Smith. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, it is Dilly. It is Dilly. Very well done. Now let's tally up those scores. Calico has scored 24 out of 25. Yeah. I don't know what you're celebrating so much for. It isn't 25 out of 25, is it? No, but it's still a 24, which is above average. It is. That's above your average, indeed, yes. Since the last episode we covered was Donald's Duck, I think it's only fitting to leave you with the song. Donald Duck. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye from me. And from Calico, it's. Hullabalooza! Then, then what is that? Oh, I don't know. I'm just picking random words out of the air, but goodbye from me. Indeed. <laughs> Can we find someone to replace it? Get up and the smell is uh, just atrocious. I found the butter in my tender. She was very, very tame. Fact, all night and through the day, she was driving me insane. My driver and my fireman tried.